You're listening to the Extraordinary Everyday Podcast with Wendy Johnson, episode number 35. Welcome to the Extraordinary Everyday Podcast, where women come to be inspired and motivated to become the best version of themselves and elevate the quality of their everyday. Now, here's your host, certified life coach, Wendy Johnson. Hello, beautiful friends. How are you doing on this gorgeous day? I'm thrilled to be here to talk about how to kickstart an upward spiral. And I'm continuing on from episode number 34. So if you haven't watched it, I recommend you go back and watch that as well. I talk about four rituals that you can incorporate into your everyday to increase your happiness. And today I want to give you more reasons why you would want to kickstart an upward spiral is because you are beginning a new day and you want to start over or a new week or the beginning of a new year, a fresh start. And you want to kickstart an upward spiral when you've lost work-life balance and when you're not in touch with things that bring you joy. You're involved in the everyday mundane task. Also, it's when your nervous system is overloaded and you're stressed and burned out. And when you're in this downward spiral energy and you're having feelings of despair, hopelessness, overwhelm, frustration, lack of motivation, and fatigue, these are all signs that you're in this downward spiral. And it's important to know when you're in a downward spiral, what are the triggers that are causing you to stay stuck in this state? Often during the holidays, we are forced to be with people that may trigger us. So we need to know that ahead of time so that we can prepare and equip ourselves so that we can communicate in a way that we're proud. The problem that we have when we're in a downward spiral is the way we react th to things. And when we have these types of feelings, we often turn to activities where we can numb ourselves, such as emotional eating or drinking, watching endless hours of TV, scrolling mindlessly through social media, or online shopping. We all have a pleasure that we turn to when we're just not feeling motivated to do anything else and we're feeling down. Unfortunately, these activities that I mentioned tend to compound the problem and keep us in that downward spiral of energy. And they may even spur feelings of regret and shame into the mix of these negative emotions. Unfortunately, then we feel worse and feel stuck in this survival mode that one day when you'll have the desire to get back out and to feel that positive change and those positive emotions again. So what, what I'm talking about with you today are some simple healthy moves that you can begin to kickstart your upward spiral. And we want to seek activities that will restore and relax the nervous system and provide an upliftment of our mind, body, and spirit. And the first healthy move I have for you is to cultivate mindfulness. Experts all agree that mindfulness is the key to starting an upward spiral. Being mindful grounds you into the present moment. You're not worrying about the future and dwelling on the past. What I recommend doing is to take mindfulness breaks and tune in to taking deeper breaths and tune in to what's happening in your body. Even if that energy state doesn't feel good, you still have to tune in and observe. And you have to take those breaths deep in the abdomen. This will begin to slow your nervous system down. I do this every day even when I'm having one of my best days because I'm practicing. And then when I have that feeling of living in a rush state and I need to slow myself down, I've already developed the practice and it's 
easier to navigate towards it. When I'm feeling stress, I stop what I'm doing and take a few deep, long breaths. I recommend that you go outside, breathe fresh air, and look around at nature. Pet your animal. Or if you're stuck inside, to just sit and look out at a window. Get yourself present in what's happening right now. And the second simple healthy move I have for you is to prioritize joy and pleasure. And this is taking a break from your day-to-day mundane activities and adding in some fun mood-boosting time. And it doesn't have to be long. It can be a break. You can get up from your computer or from your job at work and you can take a dance break. You can move around. You can take a quick walk around the block. You can tune into some uplifting music that you listen to when you're making dinner rather than tuning into negative news. Even if you want to be informed, there is a time and a place to be informed. And I think listening to uplifting or jazz type dinner music is going to create this upward spiral energy for you. It's going to put you in a better state. It can be calling a friend who's funny. Have a short conversation and a few laughs. Or watch funny videos that get you to laugh. And it's important to add comedy to your life. A comedy movie into your TV routine rather than watching movies with violence and intensity. The past few months, I've done something for myself to make sure I was incorporating more fun into my life. I have highlighted all the fun activities I have planned into my Google Calendar. And I'm doing that with a bright yellow color so that I can notice and know when I have something coming up on my calendar that is bringing me joy. I want to do more things that give me a reason to laugh and smile and enjoy myself with being by myself or with other people. Life is sometimes so serious with the wars and the hate crimes in the world. And that intensity tends to transfer onto us how we approach our own life. And the third simple healthy move I have for you is to tune into your inner dialogue. Recognize when your self-talk is more negative than what is really happening. Are you just creating drama in your head for no reason? Or have you escalated what's going on into something that's much bigger? Are you dialed in on some of your circumstances currently that you want to change or improve, but you're looking at the negative side of the circumstance? Take time to notice when your inner dialogue isn't positive. Are you saying things to yourself that you would never say out loud or say to another person? And what I recommend you do is to get those thoughts out of your head. Pull out a piece of paper or two or three and begin to write everything that's going on. What thoughts are you thinking? What stories are you telling? It's important to get it out so you can look at it. I've had to do this several times the last few days, and I've kept this to myself. And I've shred them already, but it was important for me to do this work and to observe why I was feeling angry and what stories I was telling myself. Just the act of knowing what you're saying will help you to get out of the negative spiral you're in. And you can think of ways to turn towards the positive things that are going on rather than dwelling on those negative things. And the fourth simple healthy move I have for you is to acknowledge what you have to be grateful for. And this is Thanksgiving week in the United States. And this is the month of gratitude, but it's also the week of gratitude for the family or friends we're spending time with, for the food we're about to eat, for everything that you're grateful for in your life. You can express that. 
and practicing gratitude and acknowledging what you're grateful for has a profound effect on your emotional state. It allows you to focus on the positive aspects of your life. It builds your motivation and resilience no matter what is going on. And in episode 34, Four Rituals to a Happier Life, I talk about the hormone changes that take place in your body when you're in a state of gratitude and appreciation. It helps you to experience less stress and be more focused on what's going on in your environment, even if you're having undesirable circumstances, such as a health challenge with yourself or a loved one, you can still find the gratitude in whatever's happening. And the fifth simple healthy move I have for you is to practice compassion. It's important to be able to sit with yourself during difficult challenges and have self-compassion for yourself, giving yourself more love and kindness. When you practice compassion, you're more likely to take time for your self-care, take a nap if you need it, and practicing compassion, you can still pursue your goals at a slower pace and focus on what really matters and is important in your life. You don't let the circumstance stop you and affect your emotional, physical, and mental well-being. You're being proactive and taking care of you first. And this may mean that you need to say no and set boundaries for yourself with any commitments that you may have that are just not feasible for you right now. Until you come out on the other side feeling better about the actions or activities you have planned, it's best to take care of you first and give yourself the love that you need and the support that you need. So that is it, my friends. This is how to kickstart an upward spiral. And I have these five simple healthy moves. The first one is to cultivate mindfulness. The second is to prioritize joy and pleasure. The third is to tune into your inner dialogue. Fourth is acknowledge what you have to be grateful for. And five is practice compassion. I hope that you find these helpful and that you will focus on yourself during the holidays, especially. And when you are around triggers that may affect and put you into a downward spiral and that you can lift yourself back up with these techniques and also the four rituals that I mentioned in episode number 34. Have a beautiful week, friends, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, if you enjoy listening to this podcast, you have to come check out More You, my community of like-minded women. We show up to create the highest version of ourselves and elevate the quality of our everyday along the way. Head over to ontracklifecoaching.com forward slash join. That's O-N-T-R-A-C lifecoaching.com forward slash join. I'd love to see you in there. And if you haven't grabbed your copy of the Mindset Makeover, Head over to ontracklifecoaching.com forward slash makeover and get a copy that teaches and inspires you to show up as your most extraordinary self.